the new apocalypse will be a part of the Odyssey expansion. And isn't she magnificent? Hal? What are you doing, Hal? Hal? Th that's my ship! Hal? Please open the doors, now. I'm sorry, guard. I'm afraid I can't do that. Hal, I won't argue with you anymore. Open the doors. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. For Odyssey, we're making some of the biggest changes to resource collection and industry that we have in years. We're updating all of the high-end ores to make sure that they're worth the effort and the risk of mining them. We're completely revamping ice mining to turn it into a high-value, high-competition industry. We're also changing the player-built outposts to allow people to more easily set up local industry in them. And we're completely changing the way you produce Tech 2 ships and modules and the way you collect the resources for them so that warfare will be spread into more areas of space. We've redone all the hangar interiors so the hangars look better than ever before. In Odyssey, we have a new relic site. We have rigs for capital ships. We have 20 rebalanced ships and we have four new Navy battlecruisers. Every month, over 300,000 level 4 missions are flown. And in the last year alone, more than 100,000 ships were destroyed during factional warfare. Over 120,000 characters have bounties on their heads. 1,700 of those get claimed every day. There are over 3,000 wars being fought right now as we speak. As you guys know, Odyssey is all about exploration. The experience has been redone from scratch, so if you feel like you need a crash course, go to the exploration agents because they've been redone as well and they will teach you everything you need to know. Most people will experience it anyway. Once you undock or enter a system, you'll notice the new system scan run. The system scan is meant to give you an overview of what's in the system as you come in. So it'll run and it'll tell you where anomalies, signatures and wormholes are, and of course you can choose to play around with them more. The anomalies you can warp to just like you used to, the signatures you can probe down. We've made a lot of changes to probing as well. So now you will launch your probes in sevens instead of one at a time because we thought it was a little bit too uh, time consuming to have to click all of them. So we're just giving you the ideal number of probes. How you position them is up to you. Uh, we'll, we'll give you some standard formations to play around with though. So there is a, a very uh, wide uh, reach scan and there's a very pinpointy one that you can move around uh, with these probes. We've also played around with the UI of course so the results look a bit better, uh, it's, it's a bit more responsive and, and kind of gives you the feedback you need. So once you've uh, probed these sites down you'll notice that there's a new relic site uh, which contains an old kind of looking like a colony shippy thing you can explore and try to get the loot out of. There's also uh, data sites uh, which are the equivalent on the old hacking side. So there's a structure in there that you can go in and kind of interface with and try to break into to get what's inside. This is the new data site. Hack it and find out what's inside. of camps and you should always bring a friend with you to gather the camps before they drift away or some mother f warps in to steal them from you look guard i can see that you're upset about this i honestly think you need to sit down calmly take a stress pill and think things over had i told you about the new death sequence Harden the fuck up, guard. 